Guitar. Um, this is the Chinese version of the Tokai Gold Star. Now, the thing is, I guess they're both going to look basically like a strap. Um, this is the Japanese one, um, sort of around about double the price. And I guess the, the question for most folks would be you know, are you getting value for your money when you buy a Japanese Tokai? You're getting value for your money when you buy a Chinese Tokai and what are the kind of key differences. Um, so first of all the neck profile of this um, Chinese Tokai is quite different, um, sort of a flatter, um, trying to think of something similar, like an Ibanez AD maybe, that sort of shape. Um, doesn't have rolled fretboard edges and I think you'll probably see the, the wood used on the fretboard is slightly more purpley in hue, who's hue. Um, then also the, the maple is sort of like more vintage coloured on the Japanese, whereas it's kind of more, you know, plain white looking on the Chinese version. Fretboard, or fret edges, I think look a bit tidier on the Japanese as you'd expect. A little bit more care might have gone into making that. The, the headstock is different. Um, I think this is the headstock that they put together for importing to different countries around the world where they're um, more concerned about Fender. Whereas this is their kind of Japanese headstock, which is obviously a Fender headstock. The thing that I wasn't expecting is that the, the body contours are quite drastically different. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see, maybe if I get a close up, but the the tapering of these edges, there are a lot harder edges on the Chinese version, um, whereas on a, a real strat and on the Japanese version, you've got kind of softer edges. Um, that's a key difference for me. Also, truss um, adjustment is at the headstock end here. I actually think that's what I'd prefer. Um, if you're gonna have to adjust the truss rod, I don't wanna have to take a neck off every time. Um, that's a, a personal preference, I just think it's more kind of gig friendly. Um, not sure about the plastics, they kind of look similar-ish. This has got a bigger font on the um, stuff. Then, okay, the, the, the real difference as far as I can tell is that this is actually spec 
kind of like that classic era 60s strat maybe or even 50 strat I'm not exactly sure what they're going for um, but a 7.25 inch radius um, which is not to everyone's taste but for this kind of guitar if you want you know a vintage style strat that is kind of the thing Fender Custom Shops typically use 9.5 but like the PRS Silver Sky has 7.25 and that's how those guitars back in the day would have felt. This is a considerably flatter radius, I don't know exactly what it is spec wise um, but you can tell the difference immediately when you play it. Um, this might even suit people a bit better though depending on your style of playing and whether you like a flatter radius and then I don't know this to me does feel like a, a uh, it's heavier that's not always a good thing but this one feels like the kind of right weight that it should be this one is also a very good weight I think this one was 7.5 pounds or something like that um, super reasonable weight for a strap but in the hands I would say that the Japanese one does feel like good value for money um, whereas at this end of the spectrum I think the the cheaper end of the the guitar market is quite crowded now uh, around the thousand pound mark I can't think of many kind of strats of this quality I want to try an American um, professional and see you no know, it's American performer and see what that's like but around this end you know things like Yamaha Pacifica would probably come up cheaper than this and a uh, really good quality guitars quality quality um, the size you know on this channel I really love you know there's a lot of guitars at this kind of price range so for me the Japanese Tokai is a bit of a no-brainer because there's not really much competition around that price range the Chinese one I'd want to get my hands on a few and play them and compare them to some other strats before I would commit the frets feel good it plays well um, but I just know that there's a load of competition at this price range um, so maybe I'll just grab the Sire and compare that as well so the Sire a little bit more super stratty um, and looks wise I'm not sure you know the the what you call it pearl white scratch plate and stuff is not necessarily you know my favorite thing but the neck does feel quite premium I think uh, with the rolled fret edges and you've got locking tuners and um, weight wise again talking similar but you know you've got this kind of sire style cutaway um, so I'll have a little play with this as well and see this is a two point trem on this which obviously is different as well but um, I'd say the neck of the Sire I think feels a bit more premium and certainly looks wise I think that roasted maple thing uh, is really doing a thing so similar sort of price range I feel like probably to be honest and sorry to guy um, the Sire might be the route that I might go down versus the Chinese Tokai but as I say it might be worth getting your hands on a few of these kind of cheaper options around the 500 price range 500 pounds um, and see if any of them speaks to you because the thing with these kinds of guitars is you can maybe get bad ones and good ones this is a perfectly fine guitar um, it's just that I know that this Sire is also a really really good guitar and very competitively priced so I don't know let's do some play with the Sire as well
So I think in conclusion, quite a kind of crowded part of the marketplace down here where the Chinese, Chinese Tokais are. Um, and I think, you know, you might want to shop around a little bit at this kind of price range because I think there are some really, really, really good guitars like the Sire um, for this kind of 500 price range. And you might find that there's something else that you prefer um, or that works for you and works for you spec wise if you shop around. I wouldn't say it's a no brainer to grab a Chinese Tokai versus the the Japanese Tokai, which I think actually feels like a very, very good quality guitar, sort of very much um, competitive with some very expensive kind of brands, whereas the, the Chinese Tokai, um, you know, I don't think is going to blow people away in the same way that they might um, be very impressed with the Japanese, so, you know, um, certain aspects like the body contours and the, the non-rolled frets are not going to blow your hair back, but you know, whether it's designed to do that or not, I'm not so sure, but a very decent guitar. Um, it's just I think there are other things you could spend your money at this price range and maybe get something close to what you want unless you're looking for exactly the specs of the Chinese Tokai um, in which case you could be super happy I do like that the truss rod adjustment is up there but yeah overall a very decent guitar still